Hey, what is going on with y'all, man? It's Black Balloon, and I'm coming back with another video. So y'all already know what's going on. All right, y'all. Now, I figure we come back and cover a little bit more about Rich Homie Quan's death, right? Now, of course, we'll go ahead and play the 911 call in a couple of minutes, but I got something I want to show y'all. Um, as a few people been commenting on the channel, you know, about the age that he was when he died. Now, it seems like they really want him to be 33 years old. And at this point, I'm not even sure. Because look, this is Billboard right here. And they're saying Rich Homie Quan dead at 33. I think Rich Homie Quan was also still signed to Motown Records. So Billboard says Rich Homie Quan dead at 33. When I scroll down, AP News, Associated Press, Rich Homie Kwan dies at 33. Scroll down a little more. CBS News, Rich Homie Kwan dies at 33. There's a bunch of different articles saying he died at 33. He died at 34. And when I click on Billboard's article, they actually came back and updated this article. They said this article was updated to reflect Rich Homie Kwan's age was 33 at the time of his death. According to the Fulton County Medical Examiner, his birth date was October 4th, 1990, not October 4th, 1989, which means he would have been turning 34 years old this coming October. But a lot of other places, it says that he was 34 already turning 35 and that he was born in 1989. Now, at this point, I don't even know what to believe. Look, here's another article. NBC News. Atlanta rapper Rich Homie Kwan dies at 33. Let's see if I can scroll down and see another one. Fox 5 Atlanta. I'm dead at 34. I would say at this point, it's an equal amount of articles that say he died at 33. And then there's also, you know, the other half that says he died at 34. But the thing is, Billboard got an update from the Fulton County Medical Examiner. Look at this. He was 33, the office said. A cause and manner of death was not released. An autopsy has been scheduled for Friday. The medical examiner said, which is today, I'm going to assume, and not next Friday. So I think it is safe to believe now that Rich Homie Kwan was 33 years old, y'all. And he was about to turn 34 on October 4th. The medical examiner of Fulton County in Georgia has confirmed that his age was 33. He is not 34, y'all. He turns 34 next month. I be damned. I mean, if the medical examiner office said he was 33 years old, what else do we have to believe? I think somehow, some way, his birth year got mixed up. And on Google, it says... When you just search Rich Homie Kwan, it says he was 34, born in 89, but obviously he's not. He's 33 years old. He's the same age as Young Thug. He's just about 11 months older. Young Thug also just turned 33. I think Thug birthday is like August 17th or something like that. August 19th or something. So Thug is 33 as well. And Rich Homie Kwan just died at the age of 33. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> everything we do on this channel with the number 33. Everything we do on this channel. 
And now it is officially confirmed that he was 33 years old. Has to be. But the thing is, another thing we got to consider is why would the girlfriend in the 911 call, if I'm not mistaken, she said he was 34. But why would the Fulton County Medical Examiner confirm that he's actually 33? <laughs> this, this either they playing games or somebody is just completely off here. Either the girlfriend don't know how old he is or the medical examiner just said, hey, he's 33 years old. We want this to be, you know, we, we want this ritual to go the way we planned it. So we're going to put out that he's 33. I don't even know at this point. Cause we're gonna listen. We're gonna listen to the nine one one call. Y'all gonna hear the girlfriend say he's thirty four. We'll just go ahead and check the nine one one call out real quick. Um, you know, just for those who haven't heard it, and um, we'll come back and wrap the video up. Check this out. What is the location of your emergency? All right, you need police, fire, or ambulance? I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, my boyfriend. He's been sleep on the couch um, since this morning. Well, he never came to bed last night. Sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before I took my son to school this morning, put a blanket over him, and now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um, he is. He's um, 34. Now, y'all heard the girlfriend say that he was 34 years old in that 911 call. Now, the reason I'm making this a big deal, because I like to pay attention to the details. And something isn't adding up with just about every article saying he's now 33 years old. But this is another local news article right here. This is 11 Alive. And once again, it says, editor's note, this story has been updated to correct the age and date of birth reported, meaning they reported 34, but he's actually 33 years old. Once again, Atlanta rapper Rich Homie Quan has died at the age of 33. The Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office confirms it. So y'all, once again, I think it is safe to say that he was actually 33 years old. And it just doesn't make sense on why it would come out and be a mix up of age. And this isn't the first time this has happened. You know, like I said, we've we've had videos where the age comes out and people like, yo, he's this age. No, he's actually that age. And you would think for someone that's famous, someone that's been around for a long time, you know, they would report the correct age. That's not that difficult. You know. This is even from People magazine posted 20 hours ago. They didn't have to do a correction. Rich homie Kwan, dead at 33. I don't know how many times I've seen dead at 33. So more and more, this is looking like a Freemasonic ritual sacrifice. And Rich homie Kwan's fall victim to, you know, the industry, just like so many people has before him. You had B. King that just recently died. Fat Man Scoop just recently died. That's Deaf in threes right there. Also, that lady that participated in the Olympics, I think she was like burned alive. She died at the age of 33. There's so much going on right up under our nose, you know, just in the last 
couple of weeks that really there's been a lot to talk about. But I just find it real strange that the girlfriend said he was 34, you know, and it's looking like he's 33. I just don't understand why she would say he's 34 if the medical examiner office is confirming he was actually 33. And articles are updating their websites to correct his age and date of birth to be 33 years old. So something's not right here. And real quick before I end this video, another thing I often think about y'all, you know, when it comes to these ODs in the industry and so on, is the movie Eyes Wide Shut, Stanley Kubrick. Y'all remember Tom Cruise's character, he saved the girl Amanda in the beginning of the video. She like OD'd off of speed, right? Or speedball or whatever. In return, she saves his life because that cult was going to kill him. So she decided to sacrifice herself they were going to sacrifice her basically for him and then he gets that newspaper on, on the front cover it says lucky to be alive which was like a hint from stanley kubrick and then in the article it shows ex beauty queen in hotel dies of an od and it was shocking to him because he knew the girl from the party, the cult or whatever. But we know watching the movie, they sacrifice her. She didn't die from an OD because he had already saved her in the beginning of the movie. Like he wasn't completely sure in the movie how she died. That's why he went to confirm that it was her. Because he like he didn't understand what was going on. You know, she told him he had to leave, so on and so on. But he knows that she didn't die from an OD. But my point of this is that Stanley Kubrick, he showed us what they actually do in the industry. And the fact that since they control the media, you know, they have the narrative. They control the narrative as well. And whatever we see and read is most likely what most people are going to believe. And the ones who decide to try to pick it apart and find the truth in it, you know, it, it won't really matter because... Everything is already controlled. The narrative is already controlled. Social media takes it, runs with it. It's everywhere on the news. So at the end of the day, you know, that's what people go with. It was an OD. That's easy, right? But I swear it, it, it makes me think about this all the time because I really feel like he gave us, you know, the real truth on how a lot of these people are sacrificed. And they just easily put it out in the news and control the information. And I think that's the case here as well. So, yeah, y'all, y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I just wanted to get on here and talk about this whole thing with the age and him. You know, it's looking like he died at the age of 33. And we all know what that means. So with that being said, y'all, it's Black Balloon. And I'm going to see y'all soon. I'm out.